Never did I expect to learn as much as I did within a manga. Cells at Work is a fun, educational journey into the body, learning how different cells function in order to keep our body alive. Move over, Magic School Bus. There's a new sheriff in town. If I was a junior high biology teacher, this would become the required reading assignment. Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott and my goals help you find great experiences for yourself and your family. So let's go under the knife and check out a manga that's way more than skin deep. They say the humor might even go viral. Huh? See what I did there? I'll stop with that. I mean, it could be a bit contagious. All right, seriously, I'll stop with the puns. So what is the manga Cells at Work all about? This is a very charming manga about how different cells in our body work. For the most part, each chapter is episodic with watching cells solve various problems. In each chapter, such as what happens when the body is dehydrated, when the body has lost a large amount of blood, how eyesight works, fighting germs, and so on. In Cells at Work, you learn in great detail how different cells and organs function within our body. So what did I think about the overall story, Cells at Work? The story is a fun way to learn about the human body. The author uses a lot of great symbology to teach us how different parts of our body function, whether that is red blood cells delivering oxygen and nutrients to different parts of the body, or white blood cells hunting down any germs that are a threat to the health of the body. And I thought it was clever comparing our sneezes to a rocket or tears being like a dam that is about to break. And I was a bit surprised when I started reading volume four that I actually felt a little emotional as you can feel the anguish of the different cells as they're trying to stop the body from hemorrhaging after losing too much blood. In one of the volumes, I actually learned about a part of the small intestine that I didn't even know existed. I didn't realize at first, but I caught myself not only enjoying the story, but also learning at the same time. And what was so neat reading Cells at Work is even as an adult, I learned many, many different things about the human body and how it functioned that were things I'd never even heard of before reading this book. I will forewarn, I've never taken a biology class outside of high school. I never took any biology classes in college. So it was a unique to discover how exactly our body worked while reading this manga. Another part I appreciate about the overall story is that surprisingly, cells at work create a complex villain in the form of cancer. Cancer, a cell that was created in the body that desires to live and have freedom. This cancer who goes on to believe that the only way to truly be free is to destroy the body as a whole. This way, all the cells are free from serving the overall body even though it means death for all. The manga also asks some deep questions like, is it okay to take the life of one cell if that means saving millions of others? Going into the moral majority question and objections of how much is one life valued? If we remove this one cell, such as cancer, that's gonna save everyone else. But at the same time, cancer was created within the body and that cancer also wants to live. So it was a unique perspective and dynamic as you're searching for the answers on what does it mean for cancer, where surprisingly, even though I didn't like cancer and I was rooting for the cells to take him on and destroy him, I at least understood where he was coming from as a villain. I always appreciate when a story allows you to at least understand or give you a peek on why the villain is the way that they are. It was also interesting in the story, the white blood cell's main job is to kill bacteria. And at the same time, the bacteria wants to live even though it's harming the body. And it asks the question, do the ends justify the means? Is it okay taking the life of bad bacteria so that the body can stay safe? And I don't wanna go too much into spoilers, 
So I'll leave that for you to decide when you read Cells at Work. So what about the main characters? The two primary cells that we follow in each volume are usually either red blood cell or white blood cell. Red blood cell is new at the job and has no sense of direction, constantly getting lost and running into trouble. She is sweet, very charming, and always ready to help even knowing she has severe limitations. And then at the same time, we have white blood cell who's constantly running into red blood cell and helping her out of trouble. He is brutal, constantly holding a knife, willing to assassinate and destroy any germ or virus that, or bacteria that comes his way. And when I mean brutal, I mean brutally destroying it. And then sometimes even eating his victim just to get a taste to be able to tell the body information about that cell. It was gross, but also kind of interesting at the same time that, yes, that's really how white blood cells work is at times they actually <laughs> eat their victims so that they can send information to the body about the things that they're fighting. And it could be that white blood cell just knows if he continues running into red blood cell, who always seems to bump into trouble, that he's gonna find the enemy as it seems that enemies are always attached to wanting red blood cell for their nutrients and the oxygen and CO2 that they carry. So what about the other cast of characters? Obviously there's gotta be more than just a red and white blood cells in this story. There is a wide, and I mean wide, cast of characters and cells at work. I was surprised how much the author was able to fit in just six volumes. Many different cells that work within the body all play an important role and you never feel that one character is out of place. It was extremely helpful every time a cell was introduced or reintroduced. Again, there is a sidebar that explains the name of the cell and its job function. I would have been very confused if it was not for that helpful sidebar that appeared over and over again. I actually think that would be neat in other mangas that have so many wide cast of characters. If they had that little pop up every single time a character came back that you might not have seen for a while, sharing not only who they are, but maybe what's their power, what's their job function, maybe who they're related to, almost similar to the beginning of a One Piece when you flip and you see the names and lists of all the characters, maybe if they're a villain, maybe if they're part of the team, what's their power, as sometimes it can get easily lost in a story with so many characters, but Cells at Work does this extremely well. So what about the dialogue when it comes to Cells at Work? Cells at Work has a ton of heavy dialogue. In fact, this manga itself probably has more dialogue than any other manga I have read yet. Usually when I read a manga, I can go through several volumes or chapters at a time Yet when I was reading Cells at Work, even after one chapter, I felt like I had to pause what I was reading, take it all in, and I actually didn't feel the rush to go ahead and start the next volume right away. It took me much longer to read Cells at Work than it typically does to read a manga. So what about the artwork when it comes to Cells at Work? Cells at Work have some awesome action scenes, terrific panels as you watch the white blood cells attack the bacteria. It was neat how the author built an entire city within the body and the characters are drawn in great detail. Now I do want to forewarn when it comes to the white blood cells, when I say they brutally murder bacteria, I mean brutally, blood going everywhere, all such a direction, almost like an action movie, almost a horror style on steroids as it was doing everything it can. It's not just a light kill, they're dead, no, it's blood splatter everywhere blood splatter on the white blood cell. I didn't really think that germs bled, but I think for the sake of the story, they're just trying to give you an idea of how much the white blood cells do not like that enemy bacteria. So what are some life lessons that we can take from the story cells at work? And I think a first life lesson, which is kind of obvious, is just understanding more of how our body works overall. This really is an educational story. My wife is a nurse and several times I would talk to her like, oh, this is interesting, I didn't know this. And she's like, yeah, that's, that's how the body works. It's 
pretty standard. So I really appreciate understanding better how the body works, how different cells work, and a better understanding overall on how our body functions. In the last volume, I love this quote. It says, sometimes our attitude matters more than our strength. And I think that is so true. If we go through life when hardship hits us, our attitude can make or change the situation. I can choose to stay positive. I can choose to have a good attitude while I'm going through great difficulty, or I can choose to have a bad attitude while going through great difficulty, which typically means it's going to go worse. It's going to be a harder situation. So our attitude matters as hard. It can be as at times to stay calm, to be positive, to keep moving forward. It's important that we can keep our attitude in check and not go off the deep end with our attitude or just be mean to others for the sake of being mean. I can be upset about a situation, but that doesn't mean I can allow my attitude to hurt and affect other people in that situation. So I just thought that was a phenomenal quote that our attitude at times matters more than our strength. If you have a positive attitude, it's contagious and it can affect other people in a way where they can all come together and let's go ahead and do this. If I have a bad attitude, that can also sometimes affect people in a negative way, hopefully not in a way that's gonna go viral, huh? See what I did there? All right, seriously, we're done with the puns. And last for a life lesson is to not ever lose hope. And I thought it was neat to know about the human body it's a lot stronger and more vigorous than I realized. There was many times in the story I'm like, oh, I don't know if the body's gonna make it. And it was really neat to see how when everyone comes together, they help support each other, that our human body is way stronger. And it is amazing to me, all the different workings are happening all at the same time, even as I speak right now, that our body is going through, whether that's telling the heart to continue beating, my eyes to be turned on, my ears are listening, my voice is activating, my body is breathing without me telling it, hey, you need to breathe again. My brain is functioning and thinking without me saying, okay, I need to speak again. It was just really cool and unique to be able to fully understand all the different intricacies and amazing how our bodies function and form and work. So what are some cons I have with cells at work? Because the manga is episodic in nature, I didn't feel the need to read the next chapter right away. I like to usually read a manga, at least a whole volume in one sitting. And this is a story after reading one chapter, I actually felt full, I would close the book and I had need to go ahead and switch my mind to something else. The other con I had is it felt like volume six almost didn't need to exist. As the story wraps up for the most part in volume five and easily could have just added one more chapter to finish the story. Instead, in volume six, we're first introduced to a story that's sponsored by a pharmaceutical company. And then last, it goes a little bit into dealing with COVID. Now I do understand in the midst of the pandemic, wanting to help people understand better what was going on behind the scenes as there was panic, frustration, and just as scary what could be or not be as we were learning more about COVID. So I understand why the author chose to talk about COVID and put a story in there. But at the same time, I also would have understood if the author never went that route or if it was just a side story you could find online. So I do appreciate they added a volume six and added that little bit of information. But again, I feel like they could have just chucked that more into volume five, ended it there, and we didn't really need this last volume. So let's talk about the age rating for Cells at Work. Cells at Work is rated for teens. And as I was reading the story, I actually would be okay with a little bit of a younger audience reading the story. Besides a few curse words and some brutal violence from the different cells, it actually was not that bad whatsoever. So my near 11 year old daughter read the story. She absolutely loved it. And besides me helping her with a few of the words and terms from some of the heavy dialogue, she really enjoyed the story. And it was something that she was fine after reading. Now I also have a son who's gonna be turning 10 and I'd also be okay if he wanted to read that story 
but I'm not sure if it would keep his interest because again, there is a lot of heavy dialogue with Cells at Work. So let's go ahead and talk about the GTP rating for Cells at Work. During the last volume, I felt like the author almost broke the fourth wall as there is a quote sharing that the goal of the story is to help us understand how cells work in the body. I believe the author did achieve that goal. Not only did he achieve that goal, but he achieved it in a fun and entertaining way. So with that said, I'm gonna be giving this a GTP rating of a seven out of 10. Personally, I am not a huge fan of episodic and would have loved to see more of a cohesive overall story, but that was not the goal of the author. And since that is the case, it's my problem and not the problem with the manga itself. If you are interested in learning more about the human body in a creative way, or you know someone who might be interested in learning about the human body, I highly recommend sharing with them this manga sells at work. And it was neat, the other day I actually cut my finger and as my finger started bleeding, I immediately imagined in my head the little platelets running to save the day, to form, to stop the bleeding. I imagine the white blood cells forming a line as they fight the germs that are entering in. So it was neat that at the end of the story, in some ways I still felt attached to it and I continue to think about how the cells worked in my body even when I was done reading. So that's my take on Cells at Work. In the comments below, would you be willing to share what were your thoughts of the overall story or do you recommend the anime as I heard the anime is a pretty good adaptation of the manga. And if you'd like to see more content like this and you've not done so already, would you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel? That helps others know about our small niche community that we are building together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.